So you may have seen some stuff on social media already about asking you to register for Bot Game Season 2. What I want to do in this video is talk about what is Bot Game Season 2 and give you some insight onto how the event works and how you can participate. Okay? So first off, what is Bot Games? Bot Games is a global virtual event designed for developers and our user community. So this is everyone who's using Automation Anywhere. You can do all of the challenges and participate in the event using Automation Anywhere Enterprise or Automation Anywhere Community Edition. The idea with this is we want our user base to be able to improve their RPA skills. We want developers to be able to engage with the developer community to learn best practices, learn different approaches, learn new ways to solve problems. And we want to give our developer and user community a chance to win Automation Anywhere swag. So we've got some really great looking swag this season. So we want to make sure everyone has a chance to win some of that. Now, why does bot games even exist? Well, using Automation 360 is always better than watching slides about Automation 360, right? And I know that's a bit ironic because I'm talking to you with a slide in the background. Uh, but I'm very much of the belief that getting hands on with something is the best way to learn it. I can sit and look at slides and maybe I can learn something, but if I'm cutting my teeth on it, if I'm getting into that application and I'm trying stuff out, I have a much greater chance of walking away with something that I'm going to remember and a lesson that I can apply to a future problem that I have to solve. Now, solving problems is the optimal way to learn something new. Now, you've probably gone through some kind of tutorial before, maybe even one of our AA Illustrates videos where we go through the process of like, hey, drag and drop this thing here drag and drop this here, set this one variable, now run it. That's one way to learn something, right? But you've only learned it to a certain scope. Now, it's how do we take that same lessons that we've learned and apply that to a problem where we don't have that specific guidance every step of the way. And that's how you really learn from like, okay, now I know something about the topic, now I know how to apply it, right? And so we wanna help you to progress through that so that as you're learning new packages, new actions, new commands, you want to be able to progress from like, okay, I know something about that versus I know how to apply it. I know how to use it to solve problems. So that's the specific reason why we want to have problem solving at the core of Bot Game Season 2. So what we're doing with Bot Games is we're releasing a series of challenge pages. Those challenges are designed to give you a problem to solve. And so we tell you, hey, this is the problem you have to solve. Figure out how to do it. Right? And you've got all of the commands and all of the capabilities of Automation 360 to do so. And the way this works is later on in the week, we'll show you one solution or one approach to be able to solve this problem. So we don't want to leave you stumped and say, hey, go solve something. Good luck. See ya. We're going to set up a problem. We're going to explain how it works. We're going to give you a chance to be able to try to figure that out. Maybe you'll figure out one approach. Maybe you'll figure out like five or six different ways to do it. And then that following Thursday, we'll show you a solution tutorial that talks about one way to solve it, and we can discuss some of the other different options or optimizations you might try as well. So everything kicks off on Monday, April 4th, and that's when we start our very first challenge page for Bot Game Season 2. And our first three weeks are going to work the exact same. Every Monday, we're going to be releasing a new challenge page. We'll have a blog post and a video that comes out that explains exactly how that challenge page works, what you'll need to do to complete the challenge, as well as a couple tips on how you can optimize your bot build and hopefully get through that challenge page successfully. Every Thursday, we're going to come out with a solution tutorial where we're going to explain one way that you could approach solving this problem. It's not going to necessarily always be the fastest way or the optimal way, but it's one way that we would suggest to approach this problem. So just like we talked about, we want to set you up with some kind of problem to solve, but we don't want to just leave you hanging, right? So we'll give you a couple days to solve the problem on your own. We'll publish our own tutorial on how to solve it so that you can see some of our tips. You can learn the way that we approach it. Maybe there's some similarities. Maybe there's some differences. But those are great because they're learning experiences for you. Every week ends with a Friday live stream. So we'll be doing a live stream every Friday where we'll be shouting out uh, particularly notable community posts, uh, community engagement. We'll also be shouting out users who have been helping others on our Automation Anywhere A People community, as well as on LinkedIn and Twitter. And we're going to be giving out swag. So be sure to join for our Friday live sessions to see if you won swag for Bot Game Season 2. Week 4 for Bot Game Season 2 is a little bit different this year. We're going to be doing a community-focused week. So in that community week, we're going to have lots of community events that you can get engaged with. We're going to be doing a community meetup event. 
We're going to have some um, bot live show and tell kind of things where we're going to have some developers come and break down some solutions that they've implemented into production using Automation 360 and have them break down the story of like, what was this process before? What does it look like now? What is the savings? What are some of the things that came up in that build process, right? We want to give you some of that insight into how other developers work and how they've implemented solutions because that's how we can learn, right? That's how we understand like, oh, that's a really cool use case. Maybe that's something that we could take on. That Friday of week four will be our final live stream. Again, we'll be shouting out people from the community. We'll be handing out swag and we'll be making sure to uh, join together with other people from the community so we can all continue to learn. Now, speaking of swag, the last thing I wanna talk about here, how you can win swag for Bot Game Season 2. Number one, you have to register. You have to register in order to get swag. So be sure to register. That registration is at developer.automationanywhere.com. Number two, you have to complete the challenges. So be sure to complete each challenge. When you complete the challenge, you'll see a success modal that looks somewhat similar to this, where you're going to be able to take a screenshot of that and you wanna share that on social media with the hashtag bot games. So put that on LinkedIn, put that on Twitter, wherever you share things on social. Uh, LinkedIn we saw was the most popular for bot game season one. The third thing, and you wanna make sure and get this because this is important. When you post your success modal on LinkedIn or social media or whatever it is, be sure to tag three other RPA developers, encouraging them to complete the exercise as well. So this is how you get other people from the community involved. This is how you engage them. This is how you challenge them to, hey, see if you can beat my time or see if you can keep up with my accuracy, whatever it might be. Tag other developers so that they know about this challenge so that they can compete with you and also win Automation 360 or Automation Anywhere swag, okay? So again, step one, be sure that you register. Everything kicks off Monday, April 4th, and you'll get your first email about where that challenge page is and what the challenge page is on Monday, April 4th. So be sure to register, and I'll see you there. Really looking forward to Bot Game Season 2.